Welcome back everybody, Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, in the past few days, I've been talking about my program to help house the homeless. And now we're up to the part where we have them housed. And what do we do? Uh, what do we call these uh, communities? Uh, and how are they going to be governed? So there's, there's a lot of different things that uh, we're going to cover today. And one of the first things is that uh, these communities, they're not going to be referred to as homeless communities. They're going to be referred to as either heritage or sanctuary communities uh, under the new uh, model. Uh, because they're not homeless, they are housed, they, they have a home. And, and the thing is that we want to remove, remove those um, uh, traumatizing labels. Traumatizing meaning the label of homelessness and being labeled a formerly or a um, currently homeless person. That that's a societal death sentence, and, and so we we need to remove those type of labels, especially in in these communities, and so. Uh, what I had proposed for uh, early on. Uh, you can go back to a lot of my YouTube videos and, and see that I speak of heritage and sanctuary communities. Heritage communities are communities where um, the members of that uh, are part of a, a group that was already established here in the city of Oakland, perhaps uh, homeless they, uh, as a homeless group. Uh, it could have been uh, a safe and sober group, uh, much like uh, the Berkeley uh, uh, homeless uh, encampment. And, and it, it's in a, a way to move the entire group in an exciting way where it keeps them together uh, and, and keeps their, um, their form of government, their hierarchy in place and intact. And then they, they're able to... to uh, uh, form and name their own community. They have their own established uh, self-governed uh, board, uh, typically. Uh, and, and we've seen this with organized uh, homeless encampments on the street. And so we don't want to break them up. We want to uh, ensure, <clears throat> excuse me, ensure that they uh, can remain intact and continue uh, without being um, molested in a way like cities have uh, done in the past. Uh, at first, there may be a little bit of supervision uh, uh, based upon the, the provisions uh, that uh, are part of the HOA, the Homeowner Association, uh, for these communities. And, and the HOA provides the oversight. Uh, they pay the bills of uh, the community. Uh, and, and they're elected uh, community members. They actually live in the community, and the community is open uh, to a lot of uh, um, people on the outside. So it's not limited to just formerly homeless uh, folks. Again, <laughs> that this that's under the heritage, uh, under the sanctuary. This is the uh, missing element that uh, the state of California has been missing. Uh, we, we call ourselves a sanctuary state. Oakland is a sanctuary city, but yet there is no sanctuary housing or no sanctuary opportunities. That's where my model comes in. Uh, we have sanctuary housing, uh, not only for those fleeing persecution, but also um, domestic violence, uh, uh, human trafficking, things like that. Uh, also uh, under uh, uh, sanctuary, depending on, on uh, uh, the need, this would be uh, our teachers in our uh, schools, in Oakland schools. This helps ensure that our teachers have, a, have housing that is affordable and it helps them stay connected to the community that they're teaching. And so these are provisions that uh, are missing uh, elements uh, for a lot of uh, the housing pro 
programs throughout Oakland. And, and so uh, I'm here to address those uh, shortfalls and um, we make, uh, make better decisions on the money that we spend for school, for um, construction, for housing, uh, everything. Uh, then we also need to address uh, our streets. Our streets are a mess. Uh, they're, they're, uh, in, uh, they're torn up. Uh, a lot of sideshows have, have been really hard on, on the streets, uh, destroying the markings on the streets, uh, and then the lawlessness. So uh, I've been talking about addressing the lawlessness here in Oakland. Uh, some of the community uh, businesses have taken up uh, what I've been talking about, community safety officers, downtown Oakland corridor, uh, four large corporations got together, $10 million to fund security guards to uh, uh, escort their workers to and from their cars, lunches, uh, and, and uh, close by businesses. So uh, these are types of uh, um, ideas and uh, visions that I bring to the city of Oakland uh, as a, a experienced executive leader, an executive leader. And that's what Oakland has been missing. We haven't had an executive leader. We had junior uh, leaders in executive positions. And, and that's the real sad part. Uh, the last three administrations, the current one, which is Shang Tao, previous one, Libby Schaff, and the one before that, which was uh, um, Mayor Kwan. Uh, and so um, there, none of those had executive leadership experience. Experience matters, folks. And so that's why I'm, I'm going to be running for the replacement mayor on the November 5th ballot once uh, all the signatures have been verified and that the recall petition of Mayor Shang Tao has uh, met the, uh, the minimums, which is 25,000 uh, Oakland, resident, Oakland resident voters. And so um, we currently are, are at a little above uh, 30,000 signatures. So uh, we're above the, the minimum threshold and we're uh, working to uh, achieve 40,000 signatures to assure that um, the petition, the recall petition, the recall drive of Mayor Shang Tao does make the uh, November 5th ballot. And then uh, also we're gonna be looking at the recall of uh, Pamela Price. So we're uh, city of Oakland, you have to think about some major major votes here coming up on November 5th. Recalling Pamela Price, which I do support at this time because uh, her office and the optics that they've presented since she's taken over has been very, very negative. Uh, I'm glad that she finally uh, terminated or fired her boyfriend from the office because that was one of the worst optics that she could have done uh, right after assuming office hiring her boyfriend, putting him on the payroll. Bad optics, folks, bad optics. Uh, also, you need somebody who can hit the ground running. I'm that person because I know who's been around, what they do, and the harm that they've caused. And so within hours of me uh, taking the oath of uh, Oakland mayor, I will rid Oakland of these individuals who are causing the homeless problem, the trash problem, the, the outrageous amount of crime that, that has uh, permeated Oakland and, and has taken over and, and really destroyed Oakland. I'm here to rebuild Oakland, bring back pride, bring back the prominence that Oakland once had when my family was here creating Oakland. Thanks for joining me. We'll be right back.